Come on, Myrtle. Let's go. All right, everybody, Sylvia here, and I am in Crescent City visiting my sister for a few days and taking care of some triking stuff. And today what I would like to do is a video, a 10-day assessment of my Shimano Steps electric assist motor system that has been recently installed. And I want to talk about the system itself, how it was installed, um, how I'm using it, and how I like it. So let's get right into it. So this here is the motor, and it is welded, you can see a weld, onto the boom. And this is called a retrofit, and so I didn't need to buy a whole new trike. Uh, this is where they just swap out the old boom for one that has the electric assist on it. This is the Shimano Steps E8000. It is the most powerful motor that Shimano makes. And then here is the battery display. Uh, the motor display tells you the modes for the power um, on the system. So there's three modes. You've got Eco, Trail, and Boost. And I really like this screen because it tells you the battery estimates for how far you can go. And this is what it looks like when you first turn it on and the battery is fully charged. And so in eco mode, it says 62 miles for trail, 46 for boost, 31. And within each one of these uh, modes, you can additionally adjust them. There's three extra settings that you can um, adjust through Bluetooth. There is an app you can get on your phone and it's called eTube. And from there, you can make changes to low, medium, or high for each one of these modes. The default setting has eco in high, trail in low, and boost in high. And when I first started out, I couldn't tell the difference between eco and trail when I was climbing. And I really wanted to have more power out of trail and because when I put it in boost mode, it went very, very fast up the hills, um, but it also used up a lot more battery. And Paul from Recumbent PDX, who installed the system, actually drove out to Tillamook, and he explained how to use the Bluetooth, how to connect with the Bluetooth, and how the app works. And so now I have Eco in high, Trail in medium, and Boost in medium, and I'm, it's really helping me a lot. And then um, here is the battery. I have two batteries, only one mounted. Uh, this is the biggest battery that Shimano makes for this system. It's a 504 watt hour, 14.4 amp hour battery. And I don't really know what the difference is between this one and the less powerful one. And then in the back, I'm using a roll off. So it's got 14 internal gears and it works really well with the electric assist. Um, on the roll off, you can see there's a there's no derailleur. There's just a chain tensioner, and there's a lot of room between the ground and the chain tensioner. And with a derailleur system, the derailleur is just really about a half an inch off the ground. And uh, this I like this uh, a lot better. And the other thing that I really like about it is I can change gears whenever. I can be at a stop. I can be moving. It doesn't matter. And I have it paired with a front ring. This is a 44 tooth ring. And with this, I have been able to achieve speeds of 20 miles an hour. And I'm pretty sure that this motor system will go a lot faster than 20 miles an hour, but that is the max that I can do with the chain, um, with the front chain ring and the way I have the, the gearing on the system. So how I am using this system is I don't need to be fast. I just need to be faster. I'm an extremely slow cyclist. Even though I've been riding a trike for 15 years, I have never been able to climb any faster than when I first started. And if a grade is more than 6%, I'm probably climbing at two and a half, three miles an hour. It's easy but it's very, very slow. And so now with the electric assist, I am climbing between five and eight miles an hour up some of the steeper grades, and it's just saving me so much 
time. I really only have one big concern every day, and that is I need to find a safe place to spend the night, and I need to get there before it's dark. I have a cardinal rule to never ride at night. In fact, I really like to get where I'm going before 3 o'clock. I feel like that's when people get off work, they're impatient, they're probably starting to drink, and so it feels just a lot safer if I can get where I'm going before 3 o'clock. And so this system is giving me a lot more freedom, so like maybe during the day I see something I'd love to stop and explore more, but I'm looking at the time and I'm really not sure how much climbing that I have left, and now I don't need to be so concerned. Um, the other thing that's a real big surprise for me is I'm able to move my legs a lot faster. My cadence is higher and my heart rate is higher and I'm actually getting a better workout with the electric assist than I did without it. Um, a lot of people have concerns about the batteries, the range of the batteries, and so far I've been able to go 50 miles climbing 25 to 3,500 feet, averaging about 11 miles per hour. And that's on one battery, and I have a spare. Um, you know, the other thing people are wondering about is electricity and is it hard to find a place to charge up the batteries. And I have to say that I already have so many electronics that need charging almost every day that that isn't really such a big concern. I have a few cameras, I have Bluetooth earbuds, I have a Garmin, drone, computer, the list just goes on and on of things that need to be charged up pretty much every day, um, especially my phone. I can go two days without needing to charge stuff and I think I could go two days of riding on the electric assist without needing a charge as well. And so I think that's all going to uh, work out pretty well, but electricity really is available just about everywhere. Um, I think that's kind of it. Um, gosh, I'm sure there's something really obvious that I'm missing, and if you have any comments, questions, please leave them in the comment section below. You know how much I love hearing from everybody, and um, I know this won't be the last assessment I do. I've only just started this tour. In fact, I just crossed into California, so I've got a long way to go and a lot more experience with the system. So um, let me know what you think. And as always, thank you for watching.